Good afternoon, everybody. Edward Kelly here, bankruptcy attorney for Worth Law, and today we're going to discuss the question, uh, am I a good candidate for bankruptcy? So, first, you need to understand there's two kinds of, primarily two main kinds of bankruptcy that you will be dealing with as a debtor, uh, meaning as a person that owes money. That's a Chapter 7 or a Chapter 13. So, what's the difference? Chapter 7 is a liquidation bankruptcy popularly known as um, cut and run. So uh, in this case, in a chapter seven, you're gonna walk away 90 days from the beginning of that bankruptcy with a discharge and um, without liability for any of your debts, with a few exceptions, which we'll get into later. Chapter 13 is a more of a personal reorganization bankruptcy, meaning that you may pay some or all of your debts but you're gonna structure a plan that makes that manageable for you and that maybe can save uh, your collateral, like your house or car if you're behind. So those are the two different kinds and they're appropriate to different situations. So are you a good candidate for a seven? Well, in this first video, we're gonna do a series of five. Um, we, uh, you know, we'll look at the first factor. Do you qualify? So the government, uh, the federal government, which, all bankruptcies run through the feds. Um, it's completely uh, national, federal uh, relief. It's uh, not based in the rights of states, although state exemptions are used, which we'll also talk about. But a Chapter 7 uh, has income limits, and that's based on IRS standards that come out generally quarterly for household size. For example, you might have a household of just you, one, or you might have you and your wife, two, or three kids on top of that, five. And there's a table that anyone can access on the web. You just go to Department of Justice Means Testing for Chapter 7. You know, it might take you a minute to Google around, but you can find a table that will say state by state, and it varies by each state, and it's just based on tax info and uh, other info that they gather. Um, what the cutoffs are. So for example, in Oklahoma for one person, right now it's hovering around the mid 40,000. So 45,000 or below, you'll probably be fine. And you can add about 10,000 for each additional person. So you got two people, 55,000. And bear in mind, this is the gross income. So that's before any and all deductions. However, you don't need to include social security income and certain types of veteran benefits. So, um, for purposes of qualifying, you can act as if you don't have those, although they will still come into play later. Um, but if you uh, are at 45000 or below gross for one person or 10000 more for each additional person, not including Social Security or uh, VA benefits, then you're over the first hurdle uh, and you can file a Chapter 7. So in the next video... Um, we will look at whether you are a good candidate for a Chapter 7 based on your type of debts. So I will see you then. As always, you can reach me at edward at worthlawoffice.com, spelled just like it is there. Uh, or you can reach out to me directly, 580-478-3130. Uh, and I'm always up for helping you with your debt issues and getting you going with a bankruptcy. So... Uh, I'll see you soon with the next video in this series.